Before we begin, story just one more time through these new words. Ama and the bear are synonyms for speaking. Shama means to hear. Sha'al means to ask. Ahav means to love. Ikesh means to look for. Matzah means to find. Shalach means to send. Karav means to come near. And a few nouns. Elohim means God. Etz means tree. Ken means thus. So um, in the story, you're going to hear a phrase. It's long. Ve'acharechen. It means and afterwards. It comes from ve and achare, after, ken, thus. And after thus is and afterwards. Ve'acharechen. So that's how Ken is going to show up in the story. Rak means only. Hine means <coughs> behold or look over there. Af means even or the. <laughs> People point to their nose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, let me. Start back. Oh, no, I was going to start again. Yeah, little forward. little. Okay. Ready for a story? Yeah. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Oh. Yesh Isha. Isha. Oh, Isha. Mm -hmm. He Isha? Uh, no, Isha, but not yet. Oh. Uh, Isha. Zot Isha. So every week we're going to start off the story, and Marissa is going to do a little puppet show. Mm -hmm. All right, so just sit back and enjoy the puppet show. I love you, popcorn. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, feel free to get more snacks during your entertainment. Yes. Isha, viksha, cheves. Ha Isha, ma at osa. Ani meva keshet kevis. Ma at meva keshet kevis. Ani meva keshet. Hmm. Go. Isha viksha kevis. Oh, lama. Lama. Oh. Ki. Aisha, Ahava, Vasar. Kalila. Aisha, Ohevet, Vasar. Ah, Karen, At Ohevet, Vasar? At Ohevet, Vasar, Cheves? Mm hmm. Gam ha isha hazot, he o hevet besar cheves. Ha isha, lama at meva keshet keves. Ki ani o hevet besar. Epo keves. Ve he mats a. Ha'isha matzah, ha'isha matzah keves? No. Ha'isha lo matzah keves, he matzah rak etz. He, ma he lo matzah keves. Ha'isha, ma matzat. Mm. 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 Mm.
מה את מצאת? מצאתי רק עץ. לא מצאתי כבש. היא מצאה רק עץ. או, היא עץ פרי. עץ פרי. או, האישה, מה יש בעץ? יש פרי בעץ. העץ הזה עץ פרי. היא לא מצאה את לחם, אין לחם, היא לא מצאה את בשר, אין בשר בעץ, אין לחם בעץ. שאול, מה יש בעץ? פרי. אוהבת בשר איננה אוהבת פרי. אני אוהבת בשר. אני חפצה בכבש. מצאת כבש? לא מצאתי. מה מצאת? מצאתי רק עץ פרי. והנה האישה שמעה. איפה? האישה, מה את שמעת? האת שמעת? שמעתי. כבש? לא שמעת. שמעתי. נחש מדבר. נחש. תלמידים, האישה שמעה. מה האישה שמעה? היא שמעה. נחש. והנחש הוא מדבר. ברוך, האישה שמעה כבש? היא לא שמעה כבש. אש, מה שמעה האישה? היא לא שמעה כבש. היא שמעה נחש, היא שמעה נחש מדבר. מה הנחש אמר? מה הוא אמר? הוא אמר נחש מדבר. האיש, הנחש, שאל. הנחש שאל את האישה. דוד, מי שאל? טוב, הנחש שאל. את מי הנחש 
Sha'al. Tov? Et mi, Elisheva? Et ha isha. Anacha sha'al et ha isha. Now here's a form. Le mor comes from a mar, and what it does is it occurs right before a quotation. So it acts as a verbal quotation, opening quotation marks. Right? Right after le mor, you get what someone said. Ooh, ma sha'al ha nachash. Ha nachash sha'al. Ha af. Ha af. Elohim amar. Mm. Miriam, ma sha'al ha nachash. Ha nachash. Sha'al Ha'af Elohim Amar Which is, did God really say? Yeah. yeah. Ha'af Elohim Amar Ve Ha'isha Karva Oh Karav <laughs> Ha'isha Karva El Hanachash. Mm. Mm. No. Halila. <laughs> <laughs> Halila. Shelir. Haisha. Ratsa. El Adam. Kilo Ratsa. Efo Adam. Adam Ibla. He lo ratza, he carva, he carva el hanachash. Yosef, hanachash karav el haisha. Hmm. Who lo karav? Mi karav. Haisha. Hmm. Haisha karva. He carva the he shalcha yada. He shalcha yad. Should have a little yad. Very good. Very good. Very good. Ha he shalcha regel. No, no regel. Rak yad. Yad. Yad a. Aha. Yad e. Oh. Ma at osa haisha? A ani sholachat yadi. Hmm. Ha at sholachat cherev? Ya. Eneni sholachat cherev. Ma at sholachat? Yadi sholachat. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Mi shalach yad. Hanachash shalach yad? Ain hanachash yad. Ain lo yad. Ain lo yad. Ain lo yad. Oh, yes lo. Oh, ata. Aha. Yes lo. He shall ha yada ve achare hen he lak ha et hanachash. Oh, he lak ha et hanachash. Me, me lakach, Kalev. Ha Elohim lakach. Et hanachash? Lo. Sus lakach? Ish lakach. Ish? Isha. Oh, oh, isha lakha. Ha isha lakha. Hmm. David. Ha isha lakha et ha pri? Lo. 
Lea, ma lakha ha isha? Et ha nachash. Ha nachash, to. Lakhti et ha nachash. Snata. Ve he, he that's the end. So, Hanachash, who basar? Ani ohevet basar. Oh. Yes, yes, Ichli et ha at at hanachash. Oh! Alright. One more time. Alright. From the beginning, act like... What's that? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, this one and the next story are not biblical stories. The <laughs> next few, both the rest of them will be. <laughs> but for these first ones, these are not, um, these are not canonical. <laughs> I was so sure what this was! <laughs> not! <laughs> 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 Could have been. Yeah, sorry guys, you will not find that story in your Hebrew Bible. <laughs> things, would have been a lot better off. things would have been a lot better off. <laughs> Basar. <laughs> Adam was not talking to the deer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Adam had all the kibbutzim. <laughs> That's true. According to the biblical story, Adam is right next to you. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'll read it again. Read it straight, or not straight through, but with far fewer questions. And here are your emotive expressions. I know last time you were just kind of pent up getting so involved in the story and didn't quite know how to express yourself. This, this is how you do so. <laughs> What's that? Gross? Gross? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of like universal walk. All right. Ready? Isha Viksha Heves. Ki. Ahava Vasa. Karen Atzmecha. Ismecha. The he mats a rock at spree. o have it pre. The Karen or have it, Kevin. The Hine Sham Ah Nahash Meda Bear. Anna, Anna, Yes, Nahash, who Meda Bear. Hanachash Sha'al Ota Lemor 
Ha'af Elohim Amar. Ha'ilah. Karva. El Hanachash. Oi. Vehi shalcha yada. The achare chen lak ha. Hallelujah. He lak ha et hanachash. Vehi achla oto. Karen, he ha isha. Ah, ha isha. Umi, isha. Mi ha to be the snake. Mi hu ha nachash. Ha nachash. So we're in no hurry. We'll um, they'll act it out. I'll ask lots of questions. After we act it out once or once, then we'll probably go for recording. So I don't have to worry about recording for quite a while. Okay. <laughs> Only the final cut. Haisha, Bakshi, Kevis. Sheli, ma ha isha osa. Ha he meka pets it? Or he. Kafet or Ah, ha isha meva keshet. Oh. Ma ha isha meva keshet. Elisheva, me never cash basar. Ha at never cash it basar? Or Kevis? Ha at never cash it? Or ha isha never cash it? Ha isha never cash it? Kevis. Lama. Lama ha isha meva keshet kevis. Atara. Ha isha meva keshet kevis. Lama. Ma hi o heaven. Oh, he or have it basar. Hmm. Baruch, ha isha or have it pre? Lo pre. Or have it basar. Basar. Oh, basar have it. Yael. Me or have it basar? Oh, Aisha or Heaven Bazaar. Kalef, Lama Aisha never catch it, Kevis? He called Oh Heaven? Oh Heaven Bazaar. He or Heaven Bazaar. Aisha, Aat Motset Bazaar? Motset? Oh, oh, yes, Kevis. Oh, no, 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 no,
Inena Motset. A4 Hakevis. A4 Hakevis. A4 Hakevis. A4 Hakevis. Hakevis. Kvasim Rutsu! Moria! Ha he mats a kevis o lo? He lo mats a kevis. Nisha, shall et yehiel verachel. Oh, yehiel. Ha he ma he mats a. Isha sham a kri o nachash. Ado. He sham a nachash medaber. Ha nachash shaal o ta lemor. Mi shaal. Very good. Ha. Isha Sha'ala et Hanachash Lama Ata Ba'etz Ha Isha Sha'ala Hilo Sha'ala Hanachash Sha'al Ota Adonai Amah Ha Hanachash Sha'al et Mi Sha'al Hanachash. Sha'al Hanachash et Ha'isha. Hanachash Sha'al et Elohim. 
ואת, או שי אלוהים. אל אלוהים. הוא שאל אל אלוהים. אל מינין אבאוט. אמרו שאנחנו משתמשים בספר אל קלב או משהו. טוב. הוא שאל את מי? הוא שאל את האישה. מה שאל הנחש? מה שאל? הוא שאל, האף אלוהים אמר. לאט לאט קרבי אל הנחש. לאט לאט. או, אני אמרתי. אש לא אמר. אני אמרתי. טוב. האישה, מה היא עושה? ירד. האישה מקפצת? ההיא רצה? ההיא קורבת? ההיא קורבת. Here's a new question word. It's Anna. Anna means to wear. So Hebrew has two different words for where. A foe is where as in in which place. Ana is where as in to which place. English just has one word for two different questions. Hebrew has two different words for the two different questions. Ana ha'isha korevet. Miriam. Ana ha'isha korevet. He korevet. אל אדם? היא לא איננה קורבת אל אדם, היא קורבת אל הנחש. אל הנחש. קרבי אל הנחש. היא קורבת. והיא שולחת ידה. תעבי, תעבי, מי שולח יד? האישה שולחת או הנחש שולח? האישה שולחת. האישה שולחת ידה. היא שולחת ידה ואחרי כן... מה האישה לקחה? שאול, מה היא לקחה? לקחה נחש. לקחה נחש. ואחריך היא לקחה את הנחש, והיא... אכלה אותו. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
All right. I so can't I, hope, I hope you're <laughs> practicing your point. sinister voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, your line is Ha'af Elohim Amar. <laughs> uh, you need to split it? Elohim Amar. Oh, there, nice. Nice. oh the <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, ready? Uh-huh. <clears throat> Let's do it. Isha Viksha Cheves Ki Ahava Vasar Vehi Mats Ah, rock it's pre. Oh, don't go too close to it right away. You have to get close to it later because yeah. <laughs> it's close. He mats ah, rock it's pre. Vehine sham ah, nachash medaber. <laughs> <laughs> Who shall ota le mor? Haaf Elohim Amar. Haaf Elohim Amar. The Haisha Karva El Hanachash. The He Shalcha Yada. The Acharechen, <laughs> wait, wait till I say Lakha, the Acharechen, Lakha, Et Hanachash, the He Achla Oto. Oh, Tov. We need one more person for props, maybe, or are you going to hold it? Um, yeah, I think one more person is better. You want? Mm -hmm. Who wants to be the prop person? Prop All right. Uh, Baru. Prop guy. Oh. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> hold it up whenever I say each word. <laughs> okay. So the first one you'll hold up is Chavis. Okay. So you can kind of be like behind her. Okay. Yeah, because she can't see it. Because she can't. Because she doesn't find the habit. <laughs> so just hide behind Karen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little thought balloon. <laughs> 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 that would be great. All right, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> you should put it on her shoulder. <laughs> the, bad, the, the bad angel side. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> <heavens. laughs> Yeah. 
the tree so that you're in the same shot because I don't have a wide angle camera like they're fancy ones. Oh, like in the beginning. Yeah, when you see it getting closer, oh. uh, you're like way over here, so I'm like, huh? There you are. Oh, okay. So, so I guess when you like when you find it, you can be like this close? Yes. That's okay. Right. okay. So this okay. close, that okay. still allows you it's to get closer. Okay, no, no problem. So it still allows yeah. you to get closer. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Isha viksha cheves ki ahava vasar vehi mats a rak et pri vehi ne sham a nachash. Meda bear who shall ota le mor ha af Elohim amar ha af Elohim amar ve ha isha karva el hanachash ve he shall ha yada. Ve acharechen lakha et hanachash ve hi achla oto. Yay! <laughs> All right. Now, we have several minutes for me to tell you What's going to be different here about homework this week? Um, one, I want to, yeah, this one. Okay, one I want to point out that <laughs> I'm going to send you a very big document. This is a 132 page document <laughs> that is, that has the grammatical notes to all of the stories. So this is big because there's 16 stories and it's big because I go line by line and I parse every single word. And I explain in great detail how each word relates to the other one. And so I, I have a translation and then I go word by word. Um, and I do that for every single line. Oh my <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and, and then at the end of the story, I have the translation. So the table of contents will tell you on which page each story begins. Now, how do you use this? One, I recommend that you probably download it onto your desktop or something where you can get to it pretty easily because you'll, you'll refer to this every single week. Now, I do not expect you to read this through as pleasure reading. <laughs> um, a lot of you would not consider this document to be very pleasurable. Some of you may, if so, have at it. Okay? But how I recommend you use how how I recommend you use it is try to learn the story with the um, uh, with the grammar lecture, because there's a few new grammar points that occur in this story, and then with my homework uh, questions, try to work through it and to figure out, you know, what each of these words mean and how they fit together on your own. Whenever you have a specific question, then I say go to this. So don't use this as a first resort. I say use it more as a last resort. I think you'll be way more effective. This is problem solving. Um, you'll only remember it if you think that, oh, I've got this problem, I need to solve it. Okay? So try to identify what all your problems are and then go to this and find the solution. Okay? That's how I recommend that. That's one thing. The other is this story here. Excuse me. Um, this story all used a certain kind of verb where each of the verbs sound the same. They have the same sound. So here, excuse me. 
To come near is karav. Hear the ah ah vowel pattern. Ah ah vowel pattern. Karav, shama, shalach, lakach, achal, amar, ahav, shaal, matzah. Okay? Because those words all sound the same, this chart is going to lead you to know how to inflect for the forms. So this is the word to walk. And so it's ani halachti, ata halachta, at halacht, hu halach, hi halcha, anachnu halachnu, atem halachtem, atem halachtem. And, and a halhu. This chart is what I went through in the last grammar lecture for you guys. Now, so that's our model word. Every word in this verb chart will sound like halach, and it will inflect the same way. This side tells you how to do it with the other ones. Now, what it has is it has placeholders for three consonants. For each of these forms, all you have to do is plug in the consonants for your word, for your any given word, and this chart will show you exactly how to inflect. Because these words all have the same pattern, this chart will work for all of the words. So, but how do you know which consonants to plug in? That's what this chart is going to do for you. So. To come near, you have karavti, and so the three consonants, how, how will you know? Well, one way to know is for all of these verbs, the three consonants is, hold on, I need to back up a bit. The three consonants is every verb is built on a three consonant root. So. Every verb is, so every verb comes from three consonants. How will you know which, which consonants those are for any given verb? Well, for these verbs, it's the katal form will give you the three consonants. So this one is karav, yikrav. So the top form is karav. So just take kof, resh, bet. And when you do that, in order to pronounce it, you can just stick in kofresh bait into those three slots. And this will give you the vowel pattern and the accent pattern. So karavti, karavta, karav, karav, karva, karavnu. And what you will do is, here I'm going to zoom out a bit. <coughs> What you're going to do is you're going to fill out the consonants for this whole chart. Um, so you'll just write down the consonants for what this is up here. Karavti, karavta, karavt. I'm just expecting the consonants. I don't, I don't give a rip as far as what the vowels are, as long as you know how to pronounce it. I care very much that you're pronouncing it right, but I don't care if you write, if you knew it was kametz and not patak, or vice versa, or segol and, or not sere and vice versa. Now, as far as helping you to fill out this chart, I, I have, I've given you the answer key. It's in the back of your book. So um, in the back of your book, after the yellow page, you have the appendix of all of the non-verb charts. And then you start getting these verb charts. And so this, now I've filled out. I can pass it around. I've filled out the entire chart with vowels. Um, and so you can refer to that chart if ever you get stuck. But now, there's a way that you could do this where it could be totally busy work and could benefit you very little. And that's, you, uh, you could just write, you know, 
you know every word here will start with kofresh bait. You fill in kofresh bait, kofresh bait, kofresh bait, kofresh bait. <laughs> and then you just add on the inflectional endings based on where they line up here. You're not even pronouncing it out. You're not even pronouncing it out loud. You're just getting the job done. And it will benefit you very little. But here's what I recommend. I've also given you audio charts of me reading off the model verb halach. Also, I read off the entire chart. What I want you to I want you to get out of this is the sound patterns. I want you, as you're filling out the chart, where after you do a few verbs, you can just start doing these for the next few verbs. And so I want you, every time you write down a form, even though I say don't worry about the vowels, I want you to pronounce the word that you're writing. I want you to pronounce the word that you're writing as you're writing it. And guess what? All of these verbs are verbs from the story, and the new ones are assigned flashcards. So you fill out this verb chart. You're getting these sound patterns down for how, the, how you can produce language forms. And, and on top of that, by, by writing it and you're saying it, and you write each verb down nine times, guess what? Next week's uh, vocab quiz is going to be a breeze. Because you'll have written down all these verb forms so many times. Oh, and guess what? On the other side, you have the participle forms. So this is all the katal forms and all the participle forms for each one of these verbs. I think that's super cool. Um, and so what I recommend is that you do one to two verbs every day. Don't, don't procrastinate and do all this Sunday. Okay? <laughs> Start tomorrow. And just have it be part of your... I, I, I pray that you, you guys can figure out some way to be consistent. Do 15, 30 minutes every day. You can cram on the grammar lecture stuff. Cram on the grammar stuff. But don't cram on vocab and these forms. Um, okay, there's one other thing here is that... Okay. Um, now the grammar stuff is going to be a little bit different. Your grammar sheet will not be two, a two-sided page. It will actually just be a one-sided page. So what you have done so far is grammar light, or grammar heavy. Now as we get into stories, the new grammar is going to be short. Last grammar lecture was 24 minutes. This week it's 12. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right? So it's only one side. Now here is, but you'll still have one page to fill out. And it's all going to be about learning to read the story. And there will be four parts to it. One is this checkoff list of reading the story. I have six times where you're to watch the video that we're going to post that Anne-Marie took. You watch that six times. And again, spread it out. Watch it first tomorrow. Watch it once a day for six days. Watch it six times, and then here's a listen with audio and read the Hebrew text. I, with my personal recording studio thing, made some really high quality audio of me reading the story, and I have two speeds. I have a slower speed and a faster speed. By all means, start out with the slower speed, so then it's listen to the audio and follow along with the Hebrew text. So the first one is just watch the video, hear what's going on, see what's going on, make the hearing correspond to what's going on, and then take the audio and now pair it with not seeing, but reading. And hopefully by then, as you're reading the text, you'll be able to see what's going on. And then it's twice, read it through on your own. So again, space this out, and that will be most effective. If you cram and do all 12 of these things on Sunday, guess what? You just shot yourself in the foot as far as how effective this could have been. And then it's watch the grammar lecture. And then there's going to be a couple things. One is going to be a grammar scavenger hunt. I say scavenger hunt, and it has to be fun. For this, 
I give you the lines and I say, okay, uh, within lines one to three, find a two word smichut. You don't remember what a smichut is? I always reference where to find, okay, what is this that he's talking about? So I give you a lot of help. Um, I think you'll find it quite easy, but the very fact that you accomplish it will help solidify things. So this will help you go over all the grammar points. And then here's a cool thing. Comprehension questions for the story. The questions are all in Hebrew, and I want you to answer in Hebrew. But guess what? You did that all tonight. I asked you a million comprehension questions about the story orally. Here, I give you about eight. All right? Uh, that's it for tonight.